illustrates one of the difficulties of trying to live on an environment where soil is at a premium. There's just not a lot of soil here. And so there's just not a lot of anchorage for these trees. The trees that are growing in the surrounding woods can get their roots down deep where they can really be anchored. But here, if the soil is only a foot deep at the most, that's not going to uh, give you a lot of support if there's a big windstorm. So we've had some thunderstorms. Was this day before yesterday or this uh, no, that's older? That's probably five years now. All right. It's quite dead on the other yeah. end, you can see. So it had managed to stick its roots through all the soil there was, and so when the wind came up and knocked it over, up came all of the roots and all of the soil with it. So uh, the process of turning this outcrop into a forest is gradual as the forest encroaches from the end uh, edges, but then droughts can kill it back from the edges, and windstorms can undo thousands of years of work. So soil gradually accumulated, plants managed to build up enough soil accumulated for a tree to grow. Unfortunately, then though. The windstorm knocked it over and the whole thing had to start all over again. Well, this has one advantage for us. I said it's difficult to find the fresh rock because it has a coating of mosses and lichens all over it. Well, here, this has not been exposed long enough be covered with the moss and lichen. So you can see the actual rock, and now you can see it's composed of individual crystals. So that's why it looks so rough. There's a texture there. You can actually see quartz and little black specks of mica, and then this w w white stuff that doesn't, doesn't sparkle like the quartz does is the feldspar. And these are pretty coarse yeah. grains. If you had a, this same situation at Stone Mountain, it would look almost like concrete, I mean, or, or cement. It, it just wouldn't be this coarse texture. The little grains are so small, they don't, you can't really see them very well. Here, the grains are big enough that you can really see them. And so uh, that's one way you, you could know for sure that this was on stone on Panola Mountain and not Stone Mountain, which wouldn't have all these black specks on it. And at Arabia Mountain, you'd find black streaks and and lines. So you can tell from the rock that this is Panola granite.